After brutal riot police melted away last Friday and the army rolled in, they were embraced as protectors come to restore public order. In fact, that's been their main role for almost 40 years. It was the military that handed out bread to calm food riots in 2008. It's very good. With 468,000 soldiers on active duty, Egypt's military is the largest in the Arab world. It gets about a third of its money, $1.3 billion in 2010, from the United States. But it hasn't actually been in combat since 1973 in the war against Israel. Back then, the dashing Air Force commander, Hosni Mubarak, was hailed as a hero. And in 1981, he became president. The military then amassed huge power and wealth. In a leaked cable, U.S. Ambassador Margaret Scobie described the military as a quasi-commercial enterprise itself, which owns vast tracts of prime real estate and has major interests in, among other things, hotels, construction, and weapons manufacturing. It's estimated to control at least a third of Egypt's $200 billion economy. It controls much of the state, too. All three top cabinet officials appointed by President Mubarak a few days ago are senior military commanders. So far, the soldiers have stayed neutral in this crisis. All day today, their top commanders were receiving calls from the Pentagon urging restraint. But they still hold the balance of power. And the question is, if Mubarak orders them to put down this uprising, will they obey? Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News. Cairo.